The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, is a space telescope primarily developed for infrared astronomy. The most powerful telescope ever launched into space, it substantially improved infrared resolution and sensitivity to allow it to see things that the Hubble Space Telescope cannot see because they're too old, distant, or faint. This is projected to enable a wide range of astronomical and cosmological investigations, such as observations of first stars and the development of first galaxies, as well as precise atmosphere characterization of possibly habitable exoplanets. After 25 years and more than $10 billion, the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, was ultimately launched into space on Christmas Day 2021 by Europe Arian 5 rocket. The most recent photograph from the James Webb Space Telescope gives an incredible perspective of the Milky Way satellite galaxy, the Large Magellanic Cloud. JWST's coldest instrument, the Mid-Infrared Instrument, or MIRI, was used to capture the image. Web scientists can test the telescope's image performance by focusing on the star field of the Large Magellanic Cloud. NASA has released a pair of photos that compare the capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope to those of the Spitzer Space Telescope. Spitzer, the now-retired observatory, produced high-resolution photographs of the universe in the near and mid-infrared. Webb, with its significantly larger primary mirror and upgraded detectors, will allow us to observe the infrared sky with improved clarity, allowing us to make even more discoveries, NASA stated in a statement. The James Webb Space Telescope has taken another step toward launching science operations in the summer of 2022. After weeks of alignment, NASA completed focusing the James Webb Space Telescope's primary mirror on 11th of March, exceeding the initial objective and resulting in an image of star 2 mass J1755-4042 plus 6551277 released on the 16th of March 2022. The image was significant because it demonstrated that each of the JWST's 18 primary mirror segments, which produced the Space Telescope's famous honeycomb mirror pattern, had been perfectly aligned. JWST had taken another step toward beginning its cosmic exploration. The achievement marked the completion of a process known as find facing. The main mirror of the JWST is made up of 18 hexagonal segments. To focus these, the researchers focused the telescope at a lonely star chosen to be easily recognizable and with few nearby companions. They then modified each panel so that when the 18 independent images were combined, they were aligned into a single point of light focused to within 50 nanometers a fraction of the wavelengths of infrared light it would observe. The researchers then used the near-infrared camera to photograph the star. Even though the telescope was only supposed to pick up the targeted star, it also picked up a scattering of background galaxies. In February 2022, the JWST team released an image of 18 strange stars shown across a black background. The photograph depicted a single bright star in the constellation Ursa Major, known as HD84406. Because JWST's mirror segments were still being positioned, the star was visible in 18 distinct positions. This seemingly chaotic shot was caused by JWST's misaligned mirror segments bouncing light back into the telescope's instruments, and it was an important step in preparing Webb to produce magnificent views of the universe. We aligned and focused the telescope on a star and the performance is beating expectations, says Ritva Keskikua, JWST's Deputy Optical Telescope Element Manager. The JWST team set out more than 20 years ago to build the most powerful telescope ever put in space, and they came up with an optical design to meet the science goals, says Thomas Zerbuchin, Associate Administrator for NASA's Science Mission Directorate. The first in-focus image from one of JWST's cameras is enticing, promising astronomers future riches. In contrast to the earlier infrared image of the region from the Spitzer and Y Space Telescopes, which showed an array of blobs, Webb's image shows precisely concentrated galaxies that indicate structure in even these distant background sources. We can piece together the life stories of these hidden galaxies because to JWST's remarkable resolution. Although we only have this single image, we know the camera image the field using multiple filters. The brightness of a galaxy in each of them would allow us to make an educated judgment at its distance, and so how far back in the universe's history we are witnessing. This isn't the aim of these photographs, as there will be more shortly, but it's a tempting thought. So where is the James Webb Space Telescope now, and when will science operations begin? Three mid-course correction maneuvers place the massive space telescope in a slow looping orbit around the second Lagrange point, or L2, a stable gravitational location, 
1.5 million kilometers behind Earth as seen from the Sun. But a lot more work needs to be done before we can start science operations, says Mark Makarian, Senior Advisor for Science and Exploration at ESA or the European Space Agency, NASA's principal partner in the mission. For one thing, the telescope and its sensitive sensors must cool down to 230 degrees Celsius below zero after leaving the French Guiana launch site at tropical temperatures. JWST had already achieved negative 200 degrees Celsius thanks to its massive multi-layer sunshield by early January 2022. But passive cooling slows with time. And that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more such exciting content. See you in the next one.